Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. Today we're going to be talking about a classic, Old Spice. Who doesn't love Old Spice? Well, maybe you don't know and that's why you're here. So, let's talk about Old Spice. Now, Old Spice was first invented by the Shulton Company in 1937. It was actually originally a fragrance for women. They called it Early American Old Spice. Uh, came out in 1937, was quite successful. And so to monetize off the Christmas market, they made a fragrance for men, which eventually got released in 1938. Old Spice was born. And in fact, the women's fragrance died out entirely and Old Spice for men was the survivor. Uh, according to Old Spice, if your grandfather hadn't worn it, you wouldn't have been born. Well, I don't know about that, but it is a classic multi-generational fragrance that has been ingrained into our subconscious and woven into our cultural fiber. Uh, you, in the United States, it is enormously popular in the UK as well. Uh, continental Europe, less so. In fact, it was not super easy to get hold of, nor was it cheap. Nevertheless, uh, I managed to get hold of some of the aftershaves, so not the cologne, not the eau de toilette. So the first thing you'll notice is that we still have the white boy style bottle. Now, it's meant to look like a boy in the water, but to me, it's always looked a bit more like a milk bottle. Uh, I remember my dad having one of these in his cupboard. Uh, I have a lot of uh, very fond memories of Old Spice, as I'm sure a lot of people do, which is probably why it has endured so long. So let's give this a spin. Now, I'm being very careful to apply this onto the back of my hand because earlier I had a little accident. Uh, Old Spice is quite, you probably can't tell, but this is just smudged ink on a piece of paper. Uh, the bottles, the splash bottles are very liberal. Uh, it's like washing your hands in the stuff. So if you do get a splash bottle, don't say I didn't warn you. So for this review, I see I managed to get some here as well. It's just, it's a bit much. Anyway, as you can see, for this review, we'll be using the Bespoke Unit Fragrance Formula. This was a model, a matrix devised by founder Paul Anthony in 2016, released in 2017. Uh, we use this as the basis of all our reviews because we find it is the most objective and balanced uh, review matrix that provides the ability to evaluate globally a fragrance uh, and provide the appropriate importance to each facet. facet. So, I'm going to apply this again, actually, because I left it on a little too long before getting around to talking about it. Got a bit excited. So just gently dab it onto the skin. We don't want to rub it in. We don't want to burn away or rub away that head. So first thing. So this is an aftershave, so it's very heavy on the alcohol. But we've got very strong blood orange. I like to say blood orange rather than just normal orange because there's something quite sanguine about it. There's something rougher, stronger, uh, deeper than just normal orange. That is probably thanks to the nutmeg and the anise though that are also in the head. Now we're going to just let this dry off slowly. Now, uh, Old Spice is a spicy amber oriental, so it's part of the oriental family. Uh, it is almost a classic amber fragrance, except that it's not. It's a bit spicier. It's got some aromatics in there and it's got some oriental spices too. Now we're getting to the heart. Now there is a nice little floral blossom in there, a little burst of jasmine, of carnation. And then we have the dryness of cinnamon that's just sort of bubbling underneath there. Now this is why it's a fantastic winter fragrance because you've got all these spices. It feels like you're drinking mulled wine when you're wearing it. You have the oranges, you have the spices, you have the cinnamon, you have the nutmeg. It's mulled wine. So as I'm rabbiting on, we're slowly getting to the base. Now the base is a little bit woody, we have some cedar wood in there, we have the amber, and then we have this long drawn out 
sweet vanilla finish, a bit gourmand at the end of there, which is a break away from the, the theme that we've been having all along. Yes, it's still oriental, but it has just that sweetness that takes away some of the dryness. It gives us some, some fresh warmth as well. As I mentioned earlier, this is a, a strongly winter fragrance, although it does perform well in all the other seasons. Uh, it's great during the colder months. You can wear it during autumn, you can wear it over Christmas, you can wear it during winter, you can wear it at the beginning of the year. You can even wear it over spring and summer. It's just going to be less effective because of all these spices, because of all this cinnamon, because everything that makes it tastes like a, a mulled wine or a potpourri. A potpourri. Um, and in terms of wake and strength, now even though we're talking about an aftershave here, uh, Old Spice is very high performing, even with a high alcohol content. So we're looking at a siège, so which is your wake, a trail that you leave behind you when you move past someone that's quite good, sort of, a, I'd say three out of five. You have the uh, projection, which is uh, very well performing. Uh, say you were sat this distance from me, you could just maybe get a slight whiff of it on the back of my hand right now, but then again, I've applied it three or four times. And in terms of longevity, it's okay. It's, uh, it's an aftershave after all, so it's not meant to be a lasting fragrance, but it does manage to keep going until lunchtime and maybe sometime afterwards. If you spill some onto your clothes, even longer, although I wouldn't recommend it because fragrances don't perform properly on clothes. The oils are meant to act with skin and heat, so they won't cycle through their different fragrances and it won't evaporate properly. What makes Old Spice so successful? Now this really lies into the third party feedback. Old Spice has been around since 1938. It's, it's nearly 80 years old at the time of me making this video. Uh, it has been, what, three, four, five generations maybe? Maybe not five, but definitely between three and four. Uh, people, when they smell it, they go back in time. They, 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 uh, it, they, be, they reminisce, they see childhood memories. Uh, they become a bit whimsical, nostalgic. And that is why Old Spice is so successful. Not necessarily because it smells good, which it does, but because they think about happier times. Uh, the negativity that it has received, however, although minor, uh, because people just can't hate Old Spice, uh, is the reformulation. Now, Old Spice has been through a couple of reformulations. This one is the original, but it has been changed. There's also one called the Classic, which is hard to find in France, but in the United States, the Classic is apparently replacing the original. Now, and tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, the... People that have experienced both tell me that uh, it's good, but it lacks the substance and it lacks the depth of the original. It's like having diet Old Spice instead of the full sugary sweetened original. Now, for the purpose of the review, I'm going to try and not to talk about that, but obviously it plays a role in how successful Old Spice is, and that has being something that has penalized the scoring. Otherwise, we're talking about here a fragrance which most people like to wear it even in their early 20s because it takes them back. Uh, it makes them think about their, their fathers, about their grandfathers. So people have a lot of affection for Old Spice, although it generally works better on people that are over 30 because it is quite a mature fragrance for this very reason. Now you can wear this any time of day, but it works always best during the day, at least that I've found in my experience. At night time, it's great, especially a winter night, but in spring, in summer, when you're starting to get these warm and evenings, Old Spice just feels a little bit out of place. And then as in terms of occasion, now it's not quite a casual fragrance, although it can be worn casually, but it's also very appropriate for the office because it has that kind of no-nonsense refinement about it. Uh, people actually say that they reserve this for special occasions, such as uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas or family gatherings or even going to church on a Sunday. Uh, people will put on the Old Spice for special occasions. Now this is quite significant because Old Spice is, after all, a classic bargain 
fragrance. So they must be doing something right for people to be using good value fragrance for special occasions. It is an undeniably strong masculine fragrance. However, it hasn't been unheard of for women to wear it just for the pleasure of wearing Old Spice. I've heard of women who really enjoy Old Spice so much that they use it to scent a room or they wear it on themselves to remind themselves of their father. And some women who have used or kept a bottle because it reminds them of their very first love. Uh, romantic and uh, interesting. Finally, going into presentation, uh, in terms of the bottle, well, it's a shame because they've gone for this sort of white and red look where you've got Old Spice in the middle, written, original. We don't have an established year, which would be good because this was established in 1938. It's worth just, you know, reminding us of its pedigree. The Old Spice ship is teeny tiny. It's about the size of an icon. They could make it much bigger, put some more importance to it like they used to. But hey, this is the direction Old Spice has gone. I mean, it's a shame really, it could be so much more, but that's the way it is. Packaging, uh, well, as you can see, it's a simple red box with a stripe across it. It's nice, it's eye-catching, it's very red, but it is not exactly spectacular. Uh, Atomizer, well, we don't have an atomizer on this bowl. You can get it with an atomizer, and it's probably worth getting because, frankly, a splash is atrocious. Yes, it is an aftershave. Yes, you want to splash it all over and you want to get loads on your hand and rub it not too hard. Don't rub too hard, you'll kill the head. But, you know, put it all over your hands and splash it all over your face. But not all of us do that these days. Fragrances don't serve the practical uses that they used to, like an aftershave used to have, anesthetic and disinfectant to clean your skin and uh, make sure those cuts wouldn't get infected with gangrene. And now uh, value for money. So uh, Old Spice is a very good value fragrance. You can get a 150 milliliter bottle, uh, which is five ounces for uh, $15 on Amazon, but as little as $11 on Notino. There are links in the description if you'd like to purchase some. Um, what can I say? Uh, Old Spice is an enduring, multi-generational classic that will probably outlive us and has been around longer than most of us. Uh, it it is a fantastic oriental, spicy, amber fragrance, but in the head we have this sharp, rounded floral bouquet. It is representative of many fragrances that came after it. Anyway, that's enough from me. You can read the full review if you like on bespokeunit.com. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, Come and check out what else we have in store on BespokeUnit.com. Until then, I'm Shell Philippe Bowles, live from Bespoke Unit. Take care.